you purchase SBI valve train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. All right, and welcome back in this video. It's a quick video and it's on installing valve seats. What we're doing is we're converting these early model heads for unleaded fuel. So when we're converting these heads for unleaded fuel, we need to change the exhaust seat. We'll talk a little bit about why the metallurgy, there's not enough nickel, all that is in a different part of this video, maybe of this video, who knows. Right now, when we talk about a simple part of this video, which is installing the seat, the press fit. Um, there's been a lot of, I have a lot, a lot of friends that have other shops that call me all the time, and throughout the years, I've been around for a while, the, the press fit has changed. Some of the issues that people have dropping seats is specifically, no other reason than not the right press fit. Even some manufacturers have a problem uh, figuring out what the press fit is. So I'm gonna give you some insights, some tips. All right, if you follow the press fit that I use, I've never dropped a seat. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna drop a seat, but if you follow the press fit that I use, I don't think that you'll drop a seat. And we'll discuss a little bit of why the differences are. All right, behind this camera, there's a shelf of seats from SBI, from the newer to the older. I can grab one of the older SBI seat boxes. Y'all will remember this KO line seat, SBI seat, all the older seats, they came in boxes like this. And the size that it told you on the box, that's the size of the seat. Of the seat. Most people did not even know what the press fit was because they would take a standard cutter off their machine. If it says a one and a half inch seat, one and a half inch cutter, cut it, put them, drive it in and you're done. Not ever knowing what the press fit is so you don't know how to check that press fit. That worked back in the day. We started coming across with aluminum cylinder heads and everybody started having a problem dropping seats. The problem being that aluminum expands at, I like to say, twice the rate of cast iron. Don't hold me to the exact amount. It expands a lot more as it gets hotter. So it's going to need more press fit. And there's some little tips on doing aluminum seats that I'll discuss a little bit and probably have to wait till I do an aluminum cylinder head and we'll show you what those tips are. But I'm not going to leave them out of this video. Real quick, real simple, basically the seat we want four thousandths, four thousandths for cast iron, we want seven thousandths for aluminum. Back in the day, all the cutters were set and that was it. What happening is what happened, what started to happen was they started to put in seats and aluminum heads using the same tooling and everybody was dropping seats. There wasn't a 7,000 press, press fit that was necessary. And for a long time, a lot of people just did not do aluminum head because they just, they, they just can't hold a seat. Well, it didn't have the right press, press fit. Then we come up to the modern days. Let's fast forward to the modern days of SBI and SBI I have. A real old SBI catalog. I've been doing this for a long time. And I like the older books because in the back it gives you all of the specs. The newer catalogs, I'm sure, have them as well if they even give you catalogs. So, if you were a perfectionist, you set your cutter up and you had an adjustable cutter that you can set, you can set your, your 7,000 press fit. Most people didn't, didn't have all that, didn't, didn't understand it, didn't know what press fit even was. SBI, partner with, with quality companies that actually are looking out for you. They're looking out for themselves as well. But what did SBI do? SBI determined that let's put the press fit in the seat. As, be, as before, all the seats were just, you go by the book and it was a different diameter, but you had to figure out the press fit. They were all set as for 4,000 press fit for cast iron, not for aluminum. Um, so basically, you take your seat, you mic your seat, micrometer, caliper, you take your cutter that you're going to use for your seat and mic your cutter. Make sure your cutter is 4,000 smaller minimum for cast iron, 7,000 smaller for aluminum. Well, not everybody was going to start buying up new cutters. SBI, now what they do, love them to death, 
Here's a part number of an SBI seed. S and it even says SB 1687-1. Uh, the dash one will, will determine in your catalog the how deep the seed is. The dashes at the end, inside board, tapered, if they have a taper, if they don't have a taper, look through your catalog. But what I love about that part number, so when I order a 1687, I want to speed you up. These, this is how awesome this is. That's a 1.687 cutter. So the part number of the seat here is a 1733, 1.733. So the part number is the size. Engine Quest, your home for new OE type replacement and performance engine parts and cores. For our full line of products, visit enginequest.com or call 1-800-426-8771. Engine Quest, the name you trust for engine parts, cores, and recycling. Here, it's a 1687. If you mic this, the seat, it's actually bigger than 1687. If you use the 1.687 seat cutter, it has the press fit already built in. So that's my tip of the day on the seats and getting them to not drop and making them easier to install is A, get SBI and you're done. But it doesn't matter if you're a real machinist, sorry, I'm not offending anybody, if you have the ability, which most shops do, but not every, every shop does, has the ability to have an adjustable cutter and you just set your cutter up at 4,000s for cast iron, 7,000s for aluminum, you're done. Um, if not, SBI means that you can use all, I'll even take a picture of, of all my cutters. So all your old time cutters are still state of the art if you use an SBI seat. Another little bonus tip of the day, at the end I like to leave a little bonus tip of the day, if you try to put in a seat in an aluminum cylinder head, and I'm looking right at you, you know who I'm looking at, and it doesn't make any sense, but trust me, it makes all the sense in the world. Try to press in a seat with 7,000s press fit in aluminum. It's going to go in, and it's not going to have 7,000s press fit. It took the aluminum out with it. It rolled the aluminum as you were hammering that dog in there, trying to get it in there, rolled it to the bottom of the seat. It does, it does not have 7,000s press fit because it took aluminum out with it. Good luck and hope you won't drop a seat. More than likely, you will drop a seat. Even manufacturers and aluminum heads are dropping, seat with, dropping seats because they don't have enough press fit. So what do you do? You freeze the seat and you heat the cylinder head. I have an oven, I put the, he the head in the oven, 300 degrees, you don't have to get crazy, 275, 300, if you don't, if you're only doing one seat, take a torch and just warm up the area around it. It's aluminum, it expands really quickly. A frozen seat, boom, goes right in and you're not taking any aluminum out. It's real de delicate, it's aluminum. So when it goes in, it's going in on a fresh bore, it's expanded, the seat is shrunk, let it go in there, let it sit in, you're never gonna have a problem again. You don't need to freeze the seat or preheat a cast iron head. 4,000s press fit, not a problem. That back in the day, we used to hammer them in all the time and you're not gonna have a problem. So. An aluminum cylinder head, the biggest tip of the day, which everybody wants to eliminate that last little bit. Listen to what I have to say, but the last little bit, mm, I don't want to take the time to put the head in the oven or I don't want to roll a torch over here, so I'm going to do it. I've trained many people and after a little bit, I go back and check up on them and they're not doing the heating anymore. They go, dang, I lost the seat, I dropped the seat. Oh, the darn, no, no, no. Don't take shortcuts. If you're gonna take shortcuts, don't even do it. It's not profitable for your shop and it just end up costing you money. Let somebody who's willing to do it right, do it. Most of the people that are gonna watch this video already know how to do seats, but maybe haven't been updated to the modern world of seats. That's gonna save you all the trouble right there, SBI, because you don't have to buy new tooling. I've said it enough, I've said too much. Let me get to putting in these seats. All right, my tip of the day. Let's get to